react so react to a wonderful day today we're going to be reacting to vampire diary season 6 episode 8 so without further ado let's hop into this reaction come on out joe you know i won't kill you she's kai what the heck man <sighs> wakey wakey nice transition though you could have brought me anywhere in the world and you took me to portland <laughs> this is where i grew up I've been here for 6,771 supernaturally repeating days. So in the real world... Should we make sure that he's doing the math right? Well, let's just say that he's doing it right. Oh, today's my favorite day of the year. What day is that? Thanksgiving. I'm cooking you dinner. I'm a vampire. Don't tell me she's... Oh, I was about to say, don't tell me she's practicing a way to tell Liam about her vampirism. I mean, why are we giving this dude so much attention? Hey, were you invited to uh, Friendsgiving? Of course. <laughs> why? Did she not invite nope. her? Ooh, boy. Ouch. You just the wrong girl's feelings. Damon said that she wasn't there, that, that she found peace. Why, why didn't he tell me this? Why wouldn't I consult you in a decision that might permanently change your life? Hmm. <laughs> I will. The first thing that he's trying to do after seeing that teddy bear is to get Bonnie back. God. I love that David would do anything to the people that he loves. God. Why don't you just date her? Put us all out of our misery. Because I don't think about David stating the obvious here. There are no drawbacks to this woman, Steph. Uh, she did sleep with you. See? <laughs> Another plus. I'm loving the throwbacks between Alaric and David. Oh my god. This is why they make such freaking good best friends. And Alaric is right about Caroline sleeping with Damon. Being with the same woman has been the Salvatore brothers thing. Catherine, Rebecca, Elena. Now the turn is on Caroline. <laughs> it's only fair. Is Stefan feeling sensitive about ruining his friendship with Caroline? She really liked him and he broke her heart. See, Stefan? Even the bear knew. I saw that from a mile away, and my brain's made of cotton. This is pure gold comedy. Right. Keep them coming. You feel a little hard. Bouncing off each other was the was. Best thing ever, then they went to Lark, get it off of Stefan. It's the best thing ever. Stefan kicking up steady bears. Like, see, this is my feelings. Stephen. Be gone. Have we met before? Liv and no, but you're dating my occult studies professor. Nice to meet you too. Hi, 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 hi. I thought about it. In the last episode, when Liv and her brother Luke or whatever were talking about their coven, and I thought for a second, maybe they're from the same coven. Are they family? Your pager? Why? Because it's brand new, looks cool, and I don't want you to bust it. Still a kid. Listen, Kai. Twisted kid. The magic's gone. Okay. Which means we will be stuck here forever. Josie? The twins! From from the start of the episode! What are you watching? You didn't know her? Because Olivia? How? Josette? Hang on. You guys know each other? I'm their sister. Jeez! They've been setting up this whole story arc of the Gemini coven. Like from season five. The show, man. The show. I'm Joshua Parker. Came with Salvatore. In Visiquay. Hey, what the hell just happened? I don't know. They can't see you anymore, Damon. Which means they also can't see this. Right. There are two sets of twins in your family? Yeah, there were. Until my coven put Kai in a prison room. Now there's just Luke and me. I'm sorry. Did you say coven? <laughs> <laughs> Kai wanted to be the leader, but that wasn't possible if Lucas and Olivia were alive. So I protected them with magic. My brother was born without his own magic. He could only draw it from others. 
made him feel like a freak. And they realized that he'd never be capable of leading our coven. Shit. So they kept having children until another set of twins were born. Wow. This arc is like a whole horror story in itself. And I freaking love it. Even though he is obviously a pure sociopath evil. Just because he... But like... But just because he was born different, his parents treated him like a freak. No wonder. Why would I give you the key to my son's prison? Figured. Because I'll say please. <laughs> David. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it feels like to come home and find four of your children dead? Well, you shouldn't treat your oldest son like a freak. I'm just saying. It's I'm like not like justifying Kai's actions. Like he is pure evil. Like what the hell? Like killing four of his brothers and sisters and i bet they were just children if you and Liv can both be the leaders of your coven why did you just get so upset well, because there aren't two leaders after their 22nd birthday the twins merge their strength the stronger one wins absorbing their twins power and the weaker of the two that's so the weaker freaking one so messed up fucking gemini coven tradition to be honest like, caroline's out looking for you i either die in the merge or I get to live with the fact that I killed my own brother. That is so fucked up. Tell me, Tyler. How can you help with that? Don't merge. Screw the leadership. If Kai gets out, he'll head straight for Joe. His ability to siphon magic will overwhelm Joe and she will die. And our coven will be left to the whims of a madman. I feel like this is the only thing that he cares about. Not the fact that Joe is probably going to die if she merged with Kai. But he's worried about having Kai as a leader to the coven. So screw my children. It's all about the freaking coven. Joe was invited to Friendsgiving, <laughs> but I wasn't. Yes, but in matters such as yours and Caroline's, I must, with no exception, take the side of my best friend. Huh. And I actually love you for that, Elena. You should just kiss and make up, yes. It's getting weird. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Rick, but you traveled 3,000 miles for nothing. The ascendance with me. You gotta be kidding me, right? Ah! Joe? My dad's trying to kill me. The best father of the year goes to. You know what? The bad guy story is the freaking dad. Maybe Kai is a freaking psychopath, but sorry, the dad is worse. You have to find her dad and stop him from whatever he's doing to her. Well, that's gonna be a problem because even if we could see the house, I haven't been invited in. Invite him in. You can come in! Wait, we have to do something. Definite signs of hemoptysis. Shut up, Liam. Ask them if they see an old tree stump in the front yard. <laughs> the hell are we gonna do with a knife? Maybe it's Joe's version of Miss Cuddles. <laughs> hey, anybody here from Joe? Yeah. Lena, your, your face. It's okay. <laughs> Joe, I'm okay. How did you do that? I'm a vampire. You what? You're not gonna remember anything from tonight. Or about Lady Whitmore. Or the fact that we even dated at all. Oh, thank you, home. Lena. Some rest. Olivia. Stop. I'll do it. I'll merge with you. Can't I feel your magic? She went away. Why aren't they saying anything? Saying what? Helio. Saying what? Mechugatics. They tricked me good. And where'd where'd Joe's magic go? Yeah, it made zero sense. Magic doesn't just like disappear. But then you made yours disappear when you hit it in Miss Cuddles, and it it hit me. Hmm. It doesn't matter. You need a Bennett witch to do the spell. About that. I've watched you do this spell twice now. I think all I actually need is <gasps> Bennett Blood. Bonnie, I run. Bonnie, I run! <laughs> They've been freaking doing her dirty time after time after time after time. Like, it's enough. It's freaking enough. Joe said she kept it with her to ensure that Kai would never be released. Genius. Great. Then we go home. Shotgun. He's, he's hey, on hey, his way. Do this, okay? Get the ascendant from Joe. Do whatever you gotta do to get it. Oh, no. You understand? I understand. No, I, I, I didn't what are you agree doing? with what? him, but like, come on, Damon. But like, I, I'm just gonna think about Bonnie. Like, Bonnie has been stabbed. 
like she's dying over there so I, I'm like Bonnie comes first sorry you pushed everyone away it's kind of what you do but I pushed you away the most I knew that you were the one person who would sit with me and let me cry and I didn't want to cry anymore so I had to push you away the most I feel like he would say more you see how he wanted to say more but every time he comes close to saying something like that to her he kind of chickens out every time so you and bonnie spent the last four months together yeah what did you do bonded. she sacrificed herself so i can come back wow <laughs> yeah when she wasn't no. talking she was listening what did you talk about isn't that obvious <laughs> I up with Liam. What went wrong? What do you think? Any chance you'd be willing to help me bring my best friend Bonnie back? You will. Sure. There's no car. Bastard took the car. Oh, this episode, this episode was amazing. I love the story arc of the... Parker family and how it's like a whole horror story in itself Frankly, I hated the father. Kai's dad is such an ass like he's complaining about how Kai is an evil monster When he's the one who turned him to one making him feel like a freak and an outcast his whole life You treated him like a monster so he turned to be a monster simple as that but like Klaus might have been crazy with the whole stabbing his siblings and making them sleep in a coffin but Kai was like nah I'm just gonna straight up kill them I'm telling you <laughs> Kai is making Klaus look nicer because sometimes you can see some redeeming qualities in Klaus but for Kai I don't see it because rather than just go after his parents and his dad who made him like that he went after his brothers and sisters and they were like children just to ensure that there's no one to beat him at leadership even if the father is the bad guy of his story he shouldn't go like after toddlers so that makes Kai a real pure evil but I can see how he progressively starts to become more and more psychotic and evil and and this whole uh twin merge tradition thing is so messed up to the bones it's nothing but a twisted request for power another factor of why kai ended up the way he is like the whole idea of just keep having kids until another set of twins born to be merged to ensure the leadership makes every child born before that irrelevant and the fact that he was willing to kill Joe just so Kai, you know, will merge with her to become a leader just tells you something they may compel Rick to get the ascendant I know that Joe means something to Rick but like, come on, Bonnie like, Bonnie, my baby she always sacrificed herself for her friends like, she died so Rick and others may go back to life and she's trapped alone with a psychopath and I know Rick just want to find another way but like we established that before there's no other way but I don't like that Damon though like you know compelled him but Rick doesn't deserve this from his own best friend so I know it's, it's going to end up bad, but like this is Damon's character. He is once again willing to be the bad guy to save the people that he cares about, you know? Of course, he would never hurt Alaric directly to save Bonnie, but he's not going to mind do a shitty thing to him to save Bonnie. And he's going to do the same thing for him if Alaric was in the prison world. He won't mind do shitty things to other people or to other friends so another friend could survive, you know? And Kai is almost out without them anyway. 
So yeah, Bonnie needs to get out of that place. Like, uh, like come on, Bonnie. Like, she had enough. Like, seriously, I had enough with just seeing her suffer episode after episode after episode. Like, it, it's too much. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you done my reaction. See you in next video.